Hey y'all and welcome to Monarch's Market and welcome to number one of the Coastal Inspired Easy DIYs. Now if you saw my Dollar Tree haul recently, you saw where I racked up on the new nautical stuff that just come out at the Dollar Tree. And once I found all of that, I decided to redo my guest bathroom in this nautical theme. So I have four little super easy things for you today that I'm going to be kicking this off with. Now, I will be doing a theme that is bees and sunflowers during the same time that I'm doing the Coastal Inspired. And I did that just so you wouldn't get so bored with the same thing over and over. When I finished my lavender one, I had so many weeks of the same thing. I just felt like it was just too much. So we are going to go ahead and jump right on into the first one, and this is DIY number one. These are the most adorable little pictures that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And when you get them, they already have that little beaded hanger on them. This is what they look like. And then I also chose the little turtle and anchor ornaments to put on top of them. And if you saw my haul, you've seen that I had, I want to say like maybe six different ornaments that are coastal inspired. And oh my gosh, they are so stinking cute. So I take this white Waverly chalk paint and I give the backs of these picture frames a really good solid, I want to say I painted them twice because what I'm going to do is take some tissue paper that I found at the Dollar Tree that I thought matched perfectly with this theme and that's what I'm going to be using as my background. Not only on the back of the pictures, but I'm going to be using another one on top of these little ornaments. So I'll be using the striped one on the pictures and the polka dot on top of the ornaments. Once I get everything on the ornaments and get the tissue paper down, I also go back in with some ocean colored Waverly chalk paint and just outline the edges of the little ornament so that they'll pop a little bit better coming off of that picture. Once I got all of that done, I took this nautical rope that I got from the Dollar Tree that I fell in love with. I was only able to find seven or eight bunches of this. 
So I'm still on the hunt for more of this because there's not very much on each roll, but I, you will see me use it quite a bit in this series because it is absolutely perfect for this nautical theme. It's in navy and sort of a natural color. So once I got that around there, I just took the lighter and burned off all of those little stray hairs and strings and stuff and gave it a nice little finish. And that was all there was to finishing up this little DIY. And I just thought they turned out too stinking cute. So make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about these little coastal inspired pictures that I have here. I did also take my paintbrush while I had that blue ocean paint on it doing the edges and I just kind of brushed up against the front and around the edges of the picture frames just to give it a little bit of distress and so that it wasn't so stark white because y'all know I have to distress everything I touch anyway. But anyway, um, that is how these turned out and I just thought they were cute and I love the little beaded hanger. Now this is DIY number two. You see right there where I left the little seahorse plane, but I did play around with it at first and tried something different, but I didn't like it. So I didn't end up doing that. So this little thing right here I got from the Dollar General for a dollar back at Halloween. I took the lacquer, which is the name of the color red, in this chalk paint and just went over it. Oh my heavens, it took me three or four heavy coats to finally get that sucker covered up. I didn't think I was ever going to get it covered up. But I finally got it covered. And once I did, all I did was I just put that little seahorse on there and I did leave it natural because this red was so red. And I just felt like it would be too much if I did anything else to it. That's why I did not end up using this part right here with the tissue paper because between that and the ribbon that you'll see me use, it was just too much. But I did want to show you, you know, that you can go back in and use some more tissue paper to just kind of bring all of your, your items together. So once I finished playing around with that and changed my mind, I took one of the ribbons that I got during my haul. And if you watched my haul, you saw that I got a good, I don't know, six or seven nautical themed ribbons in that haul. Now, the one I'm going to use is actually probably one of my favorite ones. It's just a little stripe. And, <coughs> excuse me. I know that came out of nowhere. It's just a little stripe ribbon and it has green, not really green, sort of like a tealish color, blue, and sort of a peachy corally color that looks almost red. So you see me just kind of going back and forth. What do I want to do? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? Nope. Change, 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 change my mind. So once I've just settled on what I was going to do, I just put the rope on there, not the rope, but the ribbon on there, made me a little bow. And that's, I just stopped right there because sometimes less is more. And that was the answer in this case, because the more I messed with it, the more, the least I liked it or the less I liked it. See, it's just one of them days y'all where I can't even talk. So hopefully you're picking up what I'm putting down, but look at that ribbon. Isn't it cute? I love, 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 love that ribbon. And I think that little seahorse ornament is just adorable too. And you got, what, a dollar fifty maybe in this whole thing? And I just think it's just the cutest little tag. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about that. Would you have painted that seahorse? Maybe a dark blue or a white? Or what would you have done if you were doing this? So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And then we are going to go right on into DIY number three. Another super cute, easy little picture. Now this, I did use that same seahorse that I was going to use on the other one. So I, you see me taking the ocean chalk paint. No, 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 I lied. That's peacock. I took the peacock paint 
which is a lot similar to the Ocean, but this one's a little bit lighter. And I just covered the back. I did give it a couple of coats to get it covered, to get those flowers covered. And I love this color blue. I think it is just absolutely gorgeous, and it is perfect for these DIYs that are nautical and coastal inspired. So you see me take that little block that you can get from the crafter square just to raise up that little seahorse off of the picture a little bit. Then I took my white and I just kind of haphazardly went around the edge and distressed a little bit. I didn't get too heavy, but I didn't, you know, I wasn't getting carried away with it. So I did mess up a little bit. So you see me taking the blue and going back in and fixing it. And then I just took some of that little rope and made a little hanger and that's all there was to making this one this one came together so stinking fast that it's just a little added bonus really because that one was super fast and again anytime you're using this nautical rope you do want to take a little lighter and go back and clean up all that that stray hair and I don't know what you call it rope hair string whatever you want to call it so this is how that turned out, and again, so, I mean, you just can't get any easier than these DIYs here. So again, let me know what you think down in the comments about how this turned out, and if you're liking this theme that I'm going with so far. Now, I know that it's just the beginning, and these are some, you know, just little filler things right now. I'll get into some big heavy-duty stuff in the next video. But I like the way this turned out. But now the next one is probably my favorite of this whole video. This is just a little tear tray that I made out of a candlestick that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And this little cake plate that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Now this is the ocean color with Waverly's chalk paint. And I took, painted the bottom and the top. And that's all it took was just one coat of this because it's a pretty it's a pretty dark color. And then I just took some of that nautical rope and wrapped around the bottom, got it all glued on there with some E6000 and some hot glue. And then I went back in with white Waverly chalk paint and made it. I was trying to go for like a denim look, if you will, and... The way you see it right here, I ended up not liking that right there. So I did go back with the blue and covered it up and distressed it back down again. So it's not that nasty in the end. I did go back and repaint over it. And you'll see that in just a minute. But I did not show all of that on film because that was just unnecessary. But again, like I said, I just took the nautical rope and glued it on there, and made that my base, and glued it to that. Then I took my little lighter. This, I'm telling you, you this is the easiest DIYs that I have done in a long time. I bet it didn't take me an hour to do all four of these DIYs together. They were so quick and so easy, and this is how it turned out. And you can see here, the top of that looks a little bit better. But let me know what you think about this little tear tray and how it turned out. I love the way it turned out. So let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Now, I am going to show you just a couple of little things that I threw on top of it. I did, if you saw the haul, and I know I keep mentioning that, but I'm so excited about everything I got that day. I did get several nautical coastal themed things to put on top of a tear tray but I did not want to go in there and pull them all out just to stage this little tear tray for you so I just grabbed a couple of things that was right there close just to show you what it looked like with something sitting on top of it and I love love this tray I just thought it was too stinking cute and this is everything all together and I just love it. I mean, it's the first of, I don't know how many because I haven't gotten far enough into it yet to give you any idea of how many videos there's going to be in this series. But 
I do love the way that these little things turned out. Now, next week, I'm going to be doing a few pictures that are, you know, pretty big in size. So, these are just little fillers to go along with the bigger things. And I did clean that paint that you just seen on that little beaded hanger right there off. I thought I re-recorded after I cleaned it up, but I guess I didn't. But anyway, that's all there was to it. And I would love to know what you think about the beginning of this series that I've started. Let me know if you like the colors that I'm going with, if you like the theme that I'm going with, and let me know if you don't like it. I mean, if you don't like it, then there's no sense in wasting your time or my time and doing a whole bunch more. But I think if you come back next week, you're going to really, really like what I've got in store. Now, I said next week, I will be doing another sunflower and bee themed one next week. So the next video in this particular series is going to be some bigger pictures. So thank you for coming to Monner's Market. You know I love y'all. You know I love it when you leave me a comment and engage with me. I always try to answer you back. Sometimes it might take me a day or two to get to you, but I always try to answer you back. So if you're not already subscribed, please reach down and hit that little red subscribe button. Then click the bell and click all, and then you will be notified every time I upload something new. So leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Definitely come back. And thanks for coming today. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. God bless you.